When I finished my master, I started to apply for different positions, especially in Europe. I would prefer to stay in Europe because it's closer to home, my home country. And also, I really love the culture and the environment of the Europe rather than other countries. I think the main advantages of working in Europe is that you, Europe is like a country, the United country, but it, you can, at the same time, you can meet different cultures, different people with different languages. And I think this is an opportunity that you cannot see any, in any other countries. You, you, are in, you can travel in, with few hours flight to different countries with, um, and meet new people, which is one of the fantastic uh, opportunities of working in Europe. When I prepared myself to leave Iran, I, uh, I was actually expecting something very different, you know, very big uh, cultural difference. But actually, we have a lot uh, in common, and it wasn't really difficult to integrate myself into Ireland. At the beginning, when I applied for this um, position, I didn't really know the difference between the Marie Curie and other, other grants. But afterwards, uh, especially from the reaction of the people, when I say I'm a Marie Curie fellow, I found that it, this is something very prestigious. As a part of my network, um, I received all of the skills and training that I needed for my future work, for my career, um, like business skills, management skills, and also some um, specific training about water and water treatment, future water treatment and energy, sustainable energy. I think there is no disadvantages of being a Marie Curie Fellow. Um, but uh, perhaps my family disagree with that because they're always worried when I travel a lot. Actually, I didn't face any difficulties moving from Iran to Ireland, um, except the, the paperwork um, for, and visa application. It was a very long time, two months um, time, and I missed the first uh, group meeting and first um, Marie Curie meeting um, at the beginning. Apart from the scientific life, I also have my personal life and I, I like to be, stabilize a family with my husband in one country and get the residency. But for the future grant that I would like to get from the Marie Curie, I have to travel, I have to be mobile and I will miss the opportunity to get a residency in one country. For example, I'm planning to go to United States for two years, uh, in one of the good universities. But if I move, I will miss, because I pay tax here, three years, it's just wasted. I cannot, uh, I don't know, I don't have any, this is one of my problems. I always think what I should do after I finish here. Should I stay? And uh, I don't know. <laughs> one of the things I would like to see is uh, academic visa for non-EU students uh, that gives them this chance to travel within Europe for the conferences and summer schools easier. Last year uh, there was a summer school in Germany and we have to all travel to Germany and there was one of my Chinese uh, colleagues uh, because he's, uh, he's, he arrived one day before the issue date of his visa, they kept him into the airport and they didn't let him into the country. It was really shocking. In 10 years time, I see myself as a scientist and having my own lab, my own research group. In this group, uh, which is all about the water management and new energies uh, that helps uh, you know, to provide safer and cleaner water for uh, people in the world. Uh, I got some skills and some training and I got to visit lots of uh, water treatment plants in Europe. And I think it will help me to uh, stabilize myself to work in the water sector for the future and hopefully doing something that um, solve the problem of uh, safe drinking water for the future. <laughs>